Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I teach third grade in Central California. Tonight, my principal is putting on a family math night. So I figured I would show you a couple of the games that we're going to be doing and teaching our families. These games are going to be very low cost, very minimal supplies that you're going to need to accomplish these games. And we have games going from just number sense to multiplication, division, all of those. So let's get started. Okay, so if you see your kids counting like this, trying to touch their face, that right there is a huge tell that you need hands-on manipulatives. They are not quite sure about their number sense yet, so they need to physically hold. Okay, we're learning about, they need to physically hold. Okay, we are learning about five. That is one, two, three, four, five. The more that you can have them touch and move around these manipulatives, see five, count five, be able to move five, shake five, all of that, the sooner that they will move away from having to touch their face or things to count. So if you notice your kids having to touch their fingers or their face to count, get a hold of some manipulatives. It doesn't always have to be the fancy math ones. I have beans that I use. I have these big beans that I use because they're painted. And yeah, so get their hands on some manipulatives. Okay, first, for number sense, I have these beans. You see that some of them are white, and then if you turn them over, they are red. So this works really well with addition. So let's say I'm working with, let's do five. Five, so I'm gonna count five beans, and then I'm just gonna roll them. Roll, shake, one, two, three, four, four plus one, five. One, two, three, plus two equals five. Because your kids are gonna be writing down their equations, ask them, do you guys see a pattern going on? And then eventually they'll realize that there's only so many ways to make five. And that's where I want them to come to that conclusion. Next, I'm gonna use some cards. And for this, I can do it myself or I can have a partner. So let's say I have two stacks. So once I flip these cards, I'm going to either add the numbers, subtract the numbers, multiply the numbers, whichever thing you are working on right now. So if now, let's say addition. Flip, joker doesn't work. Six, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 11, that one doesn't work. Go to the next one. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's what I'm probably gonna have first and second grade do. My third grade is gonna do the same thing with multiplication. Um, nothing. Eight, eight, 35, 30. So I can play that game by myself or I can play it with a partner. And you can always have the winner gets to keep the cards or you just keep going in a pile and just keep track of score or don't keep track of score, it doesn't matter. However competitive your kids are. <laughs> Thank you. Go. 56. Oh, just like with cards, you can also just have two dice or a partner and you each have a dice and just roll and see what you get. Quick at it. So four plus two, six, roll. Four plus six, 10, roll. Okay, and so on. That's another way you can play. This next game is going to be multiplication working with equal groups. So, so all you need is a piece of paper. Oh my goodness, that just scared the bejesus out of me. I taped a poster up and it fell. Okay, so this is called Circles and Stars. All you're gonna need is a dice and a piece of paper. This is going to be multiplication with equal groups. So all you're gonna do is roll the dice, that's how many circles you draw. Roll the dice again, that's how many stars you draw in the circle. Then you're gonna turn that into a multiplication sentence and solve. Or you're learning, okay, this is how we're counting by twos, this is how we're counting by threes. And it's a really good introduction to multiplication if you're not there yet. Okay, let me show you. Five. I also have them number the groups, so they'll see one, two, three, four, five. So I'll do five times one, two, three, four in each one. So five times four equals 20. Then my kids, I'm also having them do division. So they'll go 20 divided by four equals five. Okay. Another one, roll. Four. One, two, three, four. 
two. So I have one, two, three, four times, what are we counting by? Twos. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? So just a basic multiplication game. For an additional push, I have them recognize what the division equation would be. Yeah, so really good, fun game. Great way to introduce just ways of counting to kids that are not quite to multiplication yet. Cause they can also just count every single individual star until they find the product. So, so that is another game. Next, last, okay, my kids struggle with fact families. And that's gonna help with addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, all of that. So I actually have, so I have these three corner fact families showing them, okay, three plus two, two plus three, that's always gonna equal five. Five minus two equals three, five minus three equals two. They all connect, they are a family. I always say this big numbers, dad, mom, and baby. God make sure the family's all together and commutative property, mom and baby can switch. Dad's always first in line, making sure it's safe, or he's always at the end, making sure mom and baby are on their way. So just really making it applicable to them. Okay, so we're going to dinner before family night. I think that's all my games. So yeah, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.